Hello, thanks for joining me today as I discuss my data analysis protocol. I went ahead and made two protocols. They're exactly the same, um, except one focuses on a general school improvement and the other is for MTSS. I think that protocols are important because teachers need to have some kind of guideline or checklist in order to say, here's what we're doing. Um, and when there's so much information to look at, it really helps to make everyone comfortable and um, and feel safe in analyzing this. And therefore, I use Bernhardt's questions, the five essential questions, to help with guidance of school improvement. Um, when teachers are sitting down looking at what needs to be improved, the specific data or um, improvement that needs to happen would be embedded in these questions. Um, and so, of course, the four measures need to be included. What's the reason? What are the vision goals? Uh, how did they get to where they are? What's happening? What is the cause analysis? And how are we going to get to where we want to be? What's the action plan? And what are strategies that they're going to implement? And is what we're doing making a difference? These are the um, analysis through the assessments and evaluations. And then I added a sixth dimension, which is documentation of all of this information, because if they start at point A and they want to go to point B, they need to show over time what is happening. And uh, this could be with students uh, specifically or in general, if there's a broad change that needs to be made in the school. The MTSS meeting would follow a similar process. Uh, everyone in the meeting has their own role. And I went ahead and uh, put the amount of times that could be spent on this. That way people stay on track. Um, the introduction and purpose of the meeting, the referring teacher talks about the student that is being referred. They ask clarifying questions. They review the evidence-based strategies um, and decide based on these questions and what's happening right now, if it's working or if it's not, what needs to change. And then they prioritize and plan for the future. They wrap up and then they do their next steps, which is, and, and then they document, of course, everything. Here is the graphic organizer. All of the attendees sign in. They can take notes. This could be accessible through Google or it could be printed out on a piece of paper for people that prefer to write by hand. But all of the same uh, points that were in the protocol are here on the page. Introduction of purpose, describing student um, data. Um, clarifying questions, evidence-based strategies, prioritizing and planning, and then um, uh, making plans for the future and then wrapping up in the next steps. Here is the general data analysis. It would be the same kind of format, except it's the questions and um, there they would specifically talk about what they uh, want to improve in their school and all of these questions would be addressed to that specific item. I really appreciate you listening. Um, this has been a great class to learn about collaborating, about data analysis in order to make my school better. Um, it's been fast and fun and I really appreciate your time. Have a good day.